going to be just a small haul. So this is just a small little, just a few things um, I had my husband pick up from Walmart. Um, because, you know, I needed it. Um, so I had him pick up the Olay. This is the 2-in-1 Essential essential Oils Ribbons um, Body Wash. Because my skin has been super duper dry. And this has always, like, made a difference as far as um, whether my skin was dry or not. It has jojoba extract in it. This kind, this particular scent is... Luscious Orchid, which I don't think I've ever smelled. But it smells really, really good. So yeah, this is like, this is like a really, really, really good uh, moisturizing body wash. The last body wash I used was the Herbal Essences. And I just feel like it dried my skin out quite a bit. So, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick with using this body wash from now on. Um. Uh, just because I know that it actually moisturizes my skin so it's not dry. So, that is one thing I picked up. And then, the other thing is um, this Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit Foaming Scrub. I am almost out of mine, so I had him pick up another one. Um, because I have a few other facial washes, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to him because they're causing me to like break out and get blackheads and stuff and this stuff is really really good on my skin it doesn't over dry it but it helps um lessen the amount of blackheads I get because I get blackheads like right up here right by my eye area so yep had to get it back up and then the next three items that he got um are things that I've wanted to try so the first thing is the Garnier uh, skin active I think it's called micellar cleansing water anyways it's a um, supposed to be a really good makeup remover and as you can see like it's separated and you're just supposed to shake it before you use it and to combine like the oil and stuff but um it's really good for you know like um, sensitive skin and uh, whether you're dry or oily or whatever it's supposed to be really good to remove makeup and like just kind of clean your face because I really hate because most of the time when I do makeup I wash my face first then put on the makeup so when I take it off I don't want to have to rewash my face because sometimes I just put makeup on for the video so I don't even wear it that long and I just don't want to use you know more stuff to anyways <laughs> I wanted to give this a try, so he picked that up for me. And then the next two things are skincare related. So I have like I have like creasing um, underneath my eyes, and I think it's due to my under eye area being really really dry. And I've noticed like certain parts of my face are like dry. I always thought that I was oily skin, but I think in the past couple years my skin has just changed. Um, so the first thing I had him get in the box got messed up in the pack, in the bag, but the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. So this is supposed to, um, it targets fine lines and crow's feet, but it's also supposed to reduce the look of dark circles, smooth fine lines and texture, brighten and even under eye area, fade the look of stubborn crow's feet. So, here it is. I just took it out of the package. So hopefully this won't make my eyes water. Because my eye is very sensitive to like products with like a fragrance. It doesn't even have to be a fragrance. It's just like certain things that I put in my eye. Like um, the Pur Perlease um, 4-in-1 Eye Serum. That my eyes have no problem with. It's like creams that my eyes have problems with, so hopefully this works. But we will see. So yeah, picked up that. And then the other thing is the Neutrogena Hydro Bo Hydro Boost. Wow, gel cream for um, extra dry skin. 
So it looks like this little box is like that. So it's supposed to um, instantly quench extra dry skin and keep it looking smooth, supple, and hydrated day after day. The unique gel cream formula absorbs quickly like a gel, but has long-lasting, intense moisturizing power of a cream for even extra dry skin. It boosts skin's hydration level and locks it in all day. It's oil-free, fragrance-free, dye-free, and non... Uh, I have no clue what word that is. Comedogenic? I don't even know what the hell that is. So, anywho, that's what it is. So, I like the packaging, though. I like the blue. Looks really cool. So, it looks like a cream, but it also kind of looks like a, like a white Vaseline. Yeah, it definitely feels like a gel, though. It's not super duper thick or anything like that. It feels really good on the skin. So I just put it right here on my hand. Hmm. So I can't wait to see if these two things combined help my skin um, not look as dry. I know like, you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, the winter months are the ones where your skin gets dry. I'm getting older, so I think that it's not just going to be for the winter months. I think I'm just going to have to start taking better care of my skin. I wish I would have done it when I was younger, but I didn't. But, so yeah, those are the items that I had him pick up from Walmart. And I can tell you how much they are. So, this one, the Hydro Boost, um, was $19.79 at Walmart. At my local Walmart, anyways, and the I or er, the Rapid Wrinkle Repair um, Eye Cream was nineteen ninety four, and then this was six ninety six, and this was $6.96 as well and then this was $4.97 so this is actually pretty close to like it's pretty cheap for a body wash because these things they're so good that they last like a really long time so anyways I just wanted to put the price on on the video in case any of you guys were interested in trying any of this stuff out and you just wanted a rough estimate of how much you were looking at purchasing them for so I will definitely be doing like I said a review on these skincare items after I've used them up because you know and I'll definitely do a review on this or like a first impression demo on this when I use it so 